West Ham, we'll do a gap in a minute. Uh, before that, though, I don't want to upset you, um, but Prince Harry's Netflix show about his polo business, right, mm. uh, is ready to go. Um, oh, good! And, and so here's a trailer for what you can expect to see, if you can be bothered. Prince Harry, polo. Have a look. Imagine going on a horse at 35 miles an hour with someone coming at you at full speed. The adrenaline that goes through your body, it's addicting. Polo is not just a sport. Polo is a lifestyle. A whole bunch of dangerous things that can happen. It's not a motorized vehicle. It's not a car. I have a 1,200 pound animal. Every day we have to move forward. I'll do whatever I have to because at the end of the day, I have to win. Buckle up, folks. It's only going to get better from here. When you crank it up to 11, people can't hold on. It doesn't matter how big you put the words polo, it's boring as hell. Nobody cares. And one of the problems, apparently, that the, the Netflix have had uh, is that it, it's not about Prince Harry. I see that it's executive produced by Prince Harry and Meghan, which is, she won't like that. She would prefer Meghan and Harry. Um, apparently, um, one of the reasons Netflix don't like it is that it's all about this guy Nacho, some Argentinian bloke, uh, who's a mate of Prince Harry's. There's hardly anything about Prince Harry in it. Well... Look, man of the people, Prince Harry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, I've been watching Rivals, uh, yes. which is on Disney Plus. Yeah, which I've of not course seen that yet. It is, it, if you like uh, a Jilly Cooper yeah. story, I mean, it is absolutely hilarious, brilliantly produced. Yeah. I was fortunate enough to have one of the lead producers come and review the papers. A uh, lot of fun. Yes, I remember that. And it's and it's a it, it's really well done for what it is. Yeah. It's very entertaining. But they there in it, it's it's almost like a parody. That mm. part of that narrative is that they're trying to get polo on TV yeah. as they bid for the right. franchise. Yes, it's accessible. Everybody will enjoy it. Polo. Right. Nobody cares. And no. the thing is that I mean, they've done a, a very they've done a very good series on Formula One. Yes. They've done a really good series. They've actually made golf interesting by getting the you know the golfers' wives involved, and, and they've made it because there's so much money. But polo, sorry. But there's a difference though. Because golf, anybody can go off and do. You yeah. can borrow a set of sticks, yeah. you can go to a local golf course. Polo, I'm sure the lifestyle is addictive, but mm. you've got to have an awful lot of money to do it, which yeah. means that for most people it's not accessible. No. And I'm not interested in watching other people with a lot of money going off and doing something that I either can't do, don't yeah. want to do, not yeah. interested in. They might as well do yachting, mightn't they? Going, I mean, even so, yachting's more know, accessible than that. No, but you, America's Cup sort of style yeah. stuff, people don't really identify with it, do they? No. And, you know, sometimes things might be exciting or otherwise, but also I feel uneasy when a, you know, when an animal is used in that way as yeah. well. Yeah, I think that's true. I mean, I think for, for many people, you know, horse racing is, is one thing, but polo uh, and the way that horses are treated in polo is probably worse than anything. Uh, a couple more of uh, th tweets for you. Uh, Rachel Thieves is sat there laughing when accused of lying on her CV. No emotion whatsoever, says Andy. Uh, and Tony says, Mike, did I just hear correct? Haircuts may be deemed as a hate crime. No, no, no. It's not the, it's not the haircut that's a hate crime. It's criticising the haircut that's a hate crime. That's how ridiculous it is. So if you came to me and said, your hair looks ridiculous, uh, you might get a on the door from the police.